Angel, what's happening? I'm about to flip this thing around and we'll be ready to go. Hello, my friend. Or should I say Nate? <laughs> How are you going? How are you? I, I'm going to be honest. This is, I don't like listening to my voice, but welcome. Oh, I was just listening this to the nice awesome. uh, coming back from the timeout introduction there. Yes. <laughs> Everyone that has joined us, thank you so much for joining us. It's Angel Gray, sideline reporter for the Cavs. Deli, I'm pretty sure that you are happy that I'm on this side. And not holding a mic in your face right now. <laughs> but at this point, um, everyone, of course, uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going live watching the Denver Nuggets game. Um, we w hope everyone is safe and healthy. And this is a fun way to just stay interactive with everyone. So we want Deli to put on his analyst hat uh, throughout this uh, game, especially for the second quarter, because I know that's how much we have you. Um, and you just break down some of the best plays that you've seen. Uh, it could be you included, or you can put on your coach's hat, too, and tell us what you think. <laughs> I, I hope none of my teammates are watching right now. <laughs> they might not be happy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, this was this was a good game for us. I think we were uh, really short-handed. We had uh, – I think we only had, like, eight healthy guys, um, and – I don't want to – bit of a spoiler alert here, but we end up winning this game. It was a really good win for us. I think uh, a few people – you know how serious these Cavs fans I are. I think they know that we walked away with the win, so that's nice. When you're yeah. looking at this game, though, when you're going back, because I know obviously, you know, you won at Denver beforehand, you know, before this game. And yeah. then they come in, the revenge is there. You know their mindset is to get a win. You guys were down early, too. So it's like comeback time now in the second quarter. What were you seeing at that point in the game? And even now, uh, that made you guys uh, put yourselves in a position where you could come back? Um, I mean, it's, it's cliche to say, but I think uh, just thoughts on defense for us. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a playoff team. I think they were the three seed when we played them here. And um, having beat them in Denver, which is a really, really tough place to win, because uh, they're a good team um, and because of the altitude. Uh, we knew they were, they were going to come out strong. And this first quarter, we, um, yeah, our rotations on defense were a little messed up and um, we were a step behind and um, ended up giving, giving up a lot of threes. And um, we, we kind of slowly worked our way back into the game as uh, Tristan goes to the free throw line. That's another thing I kind of want to talk about. Tristan, look at his ball handling right here. I think he went between the legs, <laughs> working the baseline. Should we be concerned? Is is he the new point guard? Uh, I, I'm not going to go that far, but uh, <laughs> he's, he's definitely been working on his game a lot. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I've seen him working on, you know, double between the legs, behind the back, Euro steps, uh, finesse finishes. Um, instead of just being a, a rammer. Um, but, I mean, he, he's still obviously bringing uh, what he does best, which is just competing hard, rebounding, defending. But he's uh, continued to add things to his game, like a three-point shot as well. Oh, okay. So I know he missed the free throw there. But can we go back to when one of my favorite plays from Tristan of all time is when he went behind the back between the legs. <laughs> it was at the 76ers and shot the three with, like, four seconds left on the shot clock. I have a picture of a, a still of, like, the sideline at that time. What was going on through your mind? Uh, I mean, it was it was tough because we were really getting beaten pretty pretty bad that game, I think. And uh, um, I just got to give a shout-out to Jetty. That's a great charge, Jetty. Well done. Very well nice. Done. I helped him out. Tell him, tell him to get, get to the corner and run the next play. Um, yeah, when he – there was at least seven seconds left on the shot clock uh, and the ball bounced back into the backcourt. And um, he he decided to show everyone what, he, what he's been working on. He went deep in his bag, watched Jetty for a backdoor or a curl here. There it is. That's perfect. <laughs> you like that? that is, I, okay, so we're can I get a gig when I'm done playing? Material. Angel, this we're watching. Say we're we're right here live watching this together. That was a perfect play. I think too. That's where Jetty has found his game too. Coach um, Coach Bickerstaff has talked about him finding his game, and it's him doing <laughs> he, the work without the ball. Look, you just break down this curl right there. How you broke it off? 
Yeah. Um, well, we've been running this a bit more. It's just a double screen away. And um, especially when um, we have a four man that can shoot either Kev or, or Larry, um, that it's really open to either for that guy coming off the screen to curl or uh, back cut. And then um, we've been getting a lot of layups off there. Uh, Jetty and I have, have good chemistry on that. Uh, Bull as well. He's been, I think we we're almost getting two to a game there for a while. Um, and then if that's not there, we've got other options to go to as well. I have actually kept up with how often Kevin Love has found, uh, as we're watching when poor uh, Ante yeah. left the game, the first game. With this the is my first time seeing it. I know. That's crazy. Yeah, and that, you know, he was out for a while. Um, so it's really good to see uh, Ante back, and hopefully he's watching. I'm pretty sure he's watching. He, he loves you, obviously. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Kevin Love connecting with uh, Colin Sexton. You see that often um, on that curl screen, too, getting to the basket. Yeah, I think um, especially when you have, have low numbers playing and you play um, extended minutes with that exact same unit, I uh, should have got that loose ball, but uh, extended minutes together, you find like plays within the play that um, that work out well. We might want to it's... fast forward through this last play, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I want to see it because oh, you did bring up, you should have got the loose ball of the three there, but it's okay. Can you break down what we're about to see? So you know better than anyone. It's they're almost switching, like they're switching five. here, so I try to get Z out. I should have should have gone left and gone baseline and uh, attacked, but luckily uh, Larry saves the day with, with a nice piece of hustle. Uh, but I actually think they end up making a, a shot here, unfortunately. So what's, what's cool about this, though, even if they make this shot, we know, in great play, as you said, by Larry, you know what? I, we know the outcome of this game. <laughs> but what I'm, seeing, what I'm seeing in the second half of this team, um, uh, we'll wait on this one. Uh, that was a tough shot. That was a tough shot. That's a yeah. tough shot. I mean, what can, what did, you can't do anything else there. Nah, no, that was good D by Zara. Well, we're going to commercial break as we watch Colin Sexton run off. That was a nice move to the bucket, too. But when you're thinking about, like, the adjustments made, now, there was just an opportunity where you could have got a steal, right? And then they come <laughs> over the three. And then another, you know, play down on the other end. And then it's just like the threes coach wanted to adjust on that thing. But when you're coming in and looking at the second quarter and the adjustments, because obviously that's when everything kind of like takes a shift and you guys went on a run. Uh, can you just walk us through what coach was emphasizing? And I know you have a voice too in the huddles of what needed to be different. Yeah, um, I, I think it, it just starts on defense and um, we were just a step behind. And um, I, I think we felt like we could score enough points to win. Uh, it was just going to be whether we could get enough stops. And the more stops we can get, um, the easier it is to get out and run and um, move the ball. So um, that, that was the focus going into the second quarter. Uh, this is a very serious question. Since this is a timeout, do you ever find yourself looking at the Jumbotron? What are you doing uh, during the timeout? I, <laughs> on rare occasions when everybody is stopping to look up, I'll, I'll look up there, but... Uh, I try not to look up there too much, you know, try to – usually um, I've, I've got something to say to a teammate or, or a coach or idea of something that we um, are either doing well and should keep doing more of or something different we should try. So while this, there is still a commercial, so we're not asking you to break down these plays. You can build Fox Sports. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> but when you're thinking about this, uh, I, I was looking at just the fans that are tuned into this as well, which is really, really cool. Thank you guys for joining us. One said, Delhi equals the Steph Curry stopper. I like that. But then also during this time, we are at home. So someone just said, can you uh, shout out, you know, some of your favorite local places to go to in Cleveland? Because those are places that are like really struggling at this time. Um, anything you want to say to the people of Cleveland or the restaurants and businesses here? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's um, yeah a tough time for everybody, and uh, hope everybody is you know doing what they're supposed to, staying staying home as much as you can, and um, yeah, got to give a shout to Restore, uh, my <laughs> breakfast and juice spot, uh, Momocho, Ginkgo, um, 
yeah, I mean, Cle Cleveland has a lot of um, great restaurants and, um, yeah, everyone working at the Cleveland Clinic and all the hospitals around and also the people um, at, at the supermarket and grocery stores because, I mean, that's right. – uh, I've been in there a few times to, to load up and get some things and um, they're, you know, keeping everyone stocked up on supplies. I like it. We love it. The game is back on. We are down 10 to start the quarter. But I have a feeling the Cavs are going to go on a run. So maybe I'm psychic. I don't know. I don't know. This is, this is very interesting. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a play we, we run uh, on the side out to try to get back screen and, and get, get a layout. But um, they, they defended it pretty well as Larry goes to the bucket. And um, he – He's been playing a bit more of the three lately because of the, the low numbers uh, that we've had, but it's been a really uh, effective lineup for us because uh, he can you know easily defend three men, but then on the other end, um, they, they can't guard him in the post when we um, yeah try to get it into him. Mm -hmm. Nice defense so far. Tough, another tough bucket. But when you're thinking about it, like what's been different for you guys defensively um, when you're looking at the stretches you guys had in that second half of the season? Um, I think um, it was a good sh – oh, and one by Jetty. Look at Jetty. You know what? <laughs> we miss Jetty. Um, I, think, I think it was just commit commitment to that end and just understanding that if we, if we want to win games and improve, that um, it, it does start on the defensive end mm -hmm. and – um, it, it's a lot more fun when, when you're competing, uh, playing hard and, and winning games. So this is usually a time where either my amazing broadcast crew with, uh, you know, Austin Carr and John Michael <laughs> say something really nice about whoever is at the line or I'll probably chime in. I hate hearing my voice, honestly. But what's been the <laughs> I was going to say, once we get out of the timeout, are we going to uh, stop talking and turn up the TV so we can hear what you're saying? Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'll probably turn the TV off. <laughs> uh, but what's been uh, different about Jetty? And we'll, let, we'll, we'll live with that three. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is actually something interesting that Denver do, like, versus, versus nice. Kev, like, most teams uh, show um, or, or stay more connected, but they down the ball screen, so... Um, you can kind of use that scheme uh, against them to uh, to get him open for some threes, which, which we did uh, up there. And I think we might do a couple more times here as well. I don't want to be a spoiler, but you did find him a couple of times, especially early in this quarter, where you went on a tear as far as finding and, and creating some assists for your teammates. But is that what it's all about, just finding the hot hand? Um, yeah, I think it's more just um, finding uh, what what the defense is uh, giving up. And um, so, you know, it might not necessarily be going, like Kev might not get the shot, but using him as, as the bait uh, gets the team a, a better better shot. Who's as we go, go to the pick and roll here, they over-rotate. Once and again. And then low. Yeah, good pass. Another good pass by Larry. Ooh, good block. It's a great block. Like I, I was going to ask, I almost posed the question, who's a better passer in your opinion? We'll live with that shot as you said before. Uh, you you got to pick yourself. I don't know. Larry, <laughs> Larry, oh, Larry. you? <laughs> last, last seconds of the game, like who's, who would you say is one of the best passers? Uh, I think, uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm obviously biased. I'm I'm definitely picking me because I'm a point guard. I'm I'm setting up some kind of play here. But uh, you look very serious. That looks good. Oh, always very serious. But <laughs> I think for any full court kind of pass is definitely. Ooh. I'm telling Jerry to roll here. Okay. Oh, almost had it. But um, right. Any full court kind of pass is definitely Larry. He's got a crazy arm, and mm. um, I don't know. I don't think he played football in high school, but. Um, he's got a crazy arm like he can throw the football as well
Now you said you were telling him to curl there. Was that just how the defense was playing it? As you're you're asking for the ball once again, is that just something you know two passes ahead? Kevin Love thought he was going to knock that one down. You're just in the right place at the right time. Is this another assist? No. That's nice. Did that go in? It went My in. Oh, there we go. My YouTube TV just pulls. There we go. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> um, say that question again, sir. No, just as far as setting up the play, um, you said that you were asking uh, Jetty that previous play to go to a different spot. You said, I wanted oh, him yeah. to go there. Like, yeah. how did you know? Did you know just based off how they were playing or what you wanted him to do just to create some uh, action? Uh, because I was switching the, the ball screen um, on that pistol play, um, if he rolls and, and sets a screen and keeps his man uh, above him, he, he gets the chance of a layup, and mm -hmm. if that isn't there, um, you know, the, the help is going to have to come in as well. I like the fact that um, I just looked up at the screen, and even between uh, the shots for Plumlee, you're directing everyone. You're telling sex and something, and you're, you know, talking to everybody. The communication is always there. Everyone speaks so highly of you just about how you keep everyone together on the floor. I appreciate that gas, Angel, but uh, <laughs> he's, the, he's that the second option of that play we were talking about is Kev gets, wow, what a move, Kev. Um, <laughs> the fountain of yeah. youth. I don't yeah. know what's going on with Kevin, but he's, he's definitely taking a sip from the fountain of youth. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that, that's just the way I've always played. Um, you know, from like when I was at St. Mary's um, mm -hmm. to, um, yeah, when I was playing in Australia as well, like just, anything you know to to find a advantage uh in the plays in between the plays to to try to help the team win um Ante Zizic is on here Jetty is on here hey guys I don't know <laughs> come, on, come man. on man I don't know what he's talking about maybe he's talking about a pass that you made the Zin connect who knows but come on man that. you can see these <laughs> too right <laughs> yeah so that's awesome that's pretty cool okay so since we are in another commercial break. Um, I do want to see if I can go over some of these questions um, yeah. right now. What are you doing without sports? Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. And I think the first few days, it's um, definitely a tough adjustment. And mm -hmm. you're just getting your head around what's going on. But um, I've just been, been hanging with Anna, um, who mm -hmm. is celebrating her Australian birthday today and uh, her, her u.s birthday tomorrow um <laughs> okay. and anders who's uh yeah. what is he he's like coming up to five months old so that's i mean that's been a huge bonus just getting to spend a lot of time with him and um and working out as well um but yeah it's it's definitely been um a little strange but we're, we've got a good routine going now and i think that's the key um, I was telling my family, like, because they're uh, about a week, 10 days behind us. They've just gone into lockdown there. And I mm. said, you know, the biggest thing is just trying to find a routine and um, keeping yourself somewhat organized um, <laughs> help, helps a lot, I've found. We saw something, um, a couple of things here. I mean, are, you said you're in Cleveland or you're – are you In Cleveland, here? yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then is everyone okay? I know that you alluded to just the family that you have in Australia. Is everyone good there? I know the, the following there is great. And obviously you're, that's home for you. So I know with this being a pandemic, like this is everyone's experience. Well, well, yeah. So, it's, um, just anything that you want to say, even to your, your fans and family in Cleveland? Um, yeah. I mean, just hope everybody's staying safe. Um, and yeah, staying healthy and trying mm -hmm. to still get your workout, your home workouts in. You uh, got to get pretty creative. I was using some uh, water, uh, like packs of water as dumbbells <laughs> before I got some real ones and uh, running up and You're down the hallway. The too. Oh yeah, the home court app. app. Yeah, so um, sorry to my downstairs neighbor, but. Uh, <laughs> The, the uh yeah the home court app is uh it's free for like uh i think the next six weeks at least mm -hmm. um and they got some good um 
ball handling drills, agility drills. I know you got to give a shout out to AC because he got, Look at AC. got that One NCAA of the record right I've there. Ever met in my entire life. This was the anniversary of it. Sixty-one points. He Legend. still holds the record. Um, to this day, I, I just want to see him shoot the ball when we do one of these on-court demonstrations. He said, nope, if they're not paying me, I'm not doing it. But obviously, <laughs> we got to get Austin Carr at IG. That's my uh, goal during this quarantine. He has yeah. Twitter. If we can get him an Instagram, do you know how awesome that would be? Yeah, you got to get him uh, doing one of these uh, live uh, live things as well. I think that he would break the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I think right, so, too. So we're, we're going back to the game, obviously. Matthew Della Vadova with the ball in his hands. John Michael is play-by-play, -play, so I'm just going to leave that to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, we saw Colin uh, get a get a good layout before in the <laughs> open court. And, I mean, just his, his speed. Um, he, he's one of the fastest guys. Um, when, it, when he's got the ball in his hands. And uh, if you can get it to him quickly in that open court, um, it's it's pretty much two points. So, Okay. I know someone asked um, just how we can find it on the app. It is on Fox Sports Go, the app, and it's replaying the game as well. So if you have any issues, it should be live on there, obviously. Um, yeah. yeah, just tweet us, and hopefully everybody will be able to answer all of your questions and hope you're following along. Once again, thanks, guys, for joining us. Um, I don't know how many of your teammates are in here. They should be <laughs> filling this whole thing up and singing your praises. So, <laughs> once again, thank you so much for joining us. And every time I look up, the ball is in your hands. I wonder why you have. I think uh, we're, we're getting a layup for Bull here. Same play. Oh, bit of a dunk. He's. Uh, I think he's really um, been playing at a high level like mm -hmm. that last three or four weeks of the season. I mean, he's he's been having a great year, but um, I think he took it to another level that, that last three or four weeks. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to see uh, what, what he can continue to do because he's uh, a relentless worker. He's, he's always working on his game, whether it's before or after practice or uh, before shoot-arounds on the road. Um you know, sometimes I try to tell him to relax a little bit and mm -hmm. save his energy, but he's 21, so <laughs> right. it doesn't run out. <laughs> uh, what makes him, you, you mentioned just the work that he puts in as we see him on the screen, just on cue. Uh, after after practice, he's one of the last players that's in in the gym. But what makes him a rising star? Obviously, his first time um, going to the All-Star game and being a part of that. But you see every day, like, what makes him so special for this team? Uh, I think when you combine that uh, work ethic and um, intensity and, and focus on, on trying to get better with, you know, his athletic abilities, um, he, he really has a, has a high ce ceiling. And mm -hmm. um, I think he's continued to improve with his, with his playmaking and, um, decision making um and and knowing where as he makes a good pass out of the trap like teams are having to trap him out of the pick and roll and um it was, it was a nice dunk he's throwing the <laughs> hammer down <laughs> he's probably one of the most athletic individuals i've seen in this league yeah i mean you, you can pretty much throw that that one off anywhere and uh larry will go get it mm. Not to mention, well, we will mention it again, doing this shorthanded against a team that at a time was number three in the West. Jokic is no joke, the Joker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, I mean, how impressive he is. But I, I think what stood out to me, and I know that we'll see the results at the end, but you guys literally did this. Everybody played a part. It's Colin Sexton once again, um, showing why he's, I've been so efficient in this in this year. Yeah, um, I think I mean when you when you are playing shorthanded, um, I mean everybody knows they're going to play a lot, and um, you know when you're playing seven or eight guys, 
you know, everyone is looking at each other like, hey, we've all, we've all got to pull our weight. We've all got to compete on defense. And, um, you know, you, you have to rely on each other because, you know, um, you know, the, there's no one else coming in to, to help out. So, um, in, in a way, it's, you know, fun to go out and compete shorthanded and, and see what you can do. May I ask you even, because we're, this is around the time of the season where Darius Garland isn't playing, but you stayed ready. And you said, whatever they're asking me to do, we step up and do it. Uh-oh, does he knock it down? Ah. He's got to get the ball up. AC tells him every single time. <laughs> AC knows all things. And if he still holds the NCAA record, I'd definitely listen to him. <laughs> but for you, just staying ready. Everyone um, knows how hard you work. Um, you can say it and they can see it on the floor. But if you can just share what it was like to just see you finding your game, especially contributing the way you did in this game. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it's always tough when you're not playing. Um, especially when, you, you know, you know you can help the team win. But um, it, I know the NBA is a long season and um, at some point you, your number is going to get called and uh, yeah. you're going to be re relied upon to play minutes. And, um, you know, that, that just kept me going. So just, you know, put in the work every day. We have a great coaching staff and, um, you know, I'd get a lot of work in with, with Mike Garrity. Um yeah. Josh, uh, Drew, like all, all the coaches, and um, sometimes we'd we'd play four and four with a few of the guys that weren't playing, um, just just to stay in shape and stay ready. So, um, you know, I, I feel like my game is as good as ever. Um, mm -hmm. Just haven't played a lot this year, so um, yeah, it was good good to uh, <laughs> get get some good minutes as Kristen uh, stares down Millsap after a big dunk. I think we've, we've seen a lot of that. I know it's going to commercial break, and I know we don't have you long because we just – you're actually here longer than what you said. You jumped on the end of the first quarter. We said we're only going to do the beginning of second quarter and watch with everyone. Can I interest you in finishing the quarter with us? Two minutes. Two, two minutes to go in the quarter? Yes. Yeah. I can, I can do that. Oh, yes, this is perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, for that reason alone, I won't bug you. Hopefully, you know, we, we get to finish the season, but I won't bug you with questions. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I do know that a couple of fans have questions. They said, um, can you tell your favorite uh, Cleveland memory? And that's from Ethan. Uh, thanks, Ethan. Um, I mean, it's hard to go past the championship. And mm -hmm. um, actually, the other day, we were flicking through the channels here and uh, the parade came on and we we watched part of that, which was um, yeah, it was crazy to see from you know sitting on our on our couch at home versus actually being there, and um, that's definitely one of my favorite memories. All right, and in this game, outside of Tristan Thompson stared out on Millsap, do you know which play was your favorite? I know you had a lot of assists walking away too, but is there anything that stands out to you about a special play? Um. I think there was – I think it was either this game or the uh, the Spurs game. I can't remember, but um, we – or it might have been earlier in the first quarter uh, before we got on here where um, everyone was flying around um, on defense and um, we made three or four rotations in the one play and uh, ended up getting a 24-shot clock violation and – Everybody on the floor was uh, pumped and excited and like, giving a bit of a fist pump over getting that done. And I think that just showed how, uh, I guess, bought in and committed everyone was to uh, trying to win, win that game. Uh, oh. Look at Tristan in his Christmas white. Wishing oh, should we turn it up? <laughs> what, what are you thinking when you're asking him a question? He's got an outfit like that. <laughs> I, I honestly am holding back the laugh. I, I, when he walked up, I almost was afraid to say anything. It was just watching, like, uh, Jesus walk through the hallway. <laughs> I mean... I mean, it's... I said, you know what? You know what I said the first thing? I said, oh, we'll see this on League Fits. So, <laughs> as I'm pretty sure we did. The, uh, blinded by his, uh, diamond chains there. 
<laughs> Shout out to Tristan Thompson, who is <laughs> apparently learning how to cook um, back in LA. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully we can get him on. Um, so, so that would be nice. I know we're going to close out this quarter somewhat on a run, but another thing, um, just seeing Colin too, and I know that we've kind of alluded to how he's grown, but he says every time that he's in that huddle, he speaks to you first. Uh, what are you seeing as far as his uh, maturation in that point guard position? Um, I, I mean, I think he's a, come a long way, um, like, during this season and then also from last season to this season. And um, I think because he knows, you know, he's going to be out there and ha have the ball as he makes a great defensive play and just – Turns on the boost. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, okay. I, I definitely can't catch him. But, uh, <laughs> I think just knowing that he knows where, where his shots are going to come, come from, like out of, you know, which plays and things like that. He, he's not pressing and he, he lets the game come to him. And mm -hmm. I think he's got used to what defenses are throwing, uh, mm -hmm. at him because, I mean, he's, he's got to be at, you know, one of the top guys on the other team's scouting report. So, nice. um, yeah, just dealing with traps on pick and rolls and, um, you know, that two-man game with Kev, like mm -hmm. uh, that hard cut, you know, everyone's so worried about his speed, got Kev open for that shot there. Uh, people keep asking about Aaron Baines' fan club on Twitter. I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. So I know that's your friend. Um. <laughs> I, I need to, I need to give them a follow because uh, they've got some good stuff and Bainsy's mm -hmm. having having a hell of a year. So, um, yeah, shout out to the uh, Bainsy fan club. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I we like the the Della Vidova fan club just a little bit better. So <laughs> we're gonna promote that one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice defensive series there for you guys. Yeah. And that that's what uh as Kev and Jetty give each other a high five, which <laughs> miss that looks like, but that, that's you know, being on a string defensively and I think that's why we were, you know, winning more games and mm -hmm. um, you know, the communication level and um just anticipating as uh great play by Bull to get the two mm -hmm. for one. Right. Um great, great look for Kev there. Um you you yeah. mentioned something. You said the celebration. Well, you posted something with Kevin Love, too. Maybe it's Kevin Love because apparently you said there was some misunderstanding about how they celebrated. He said, oh, I was really excited. <laughs> <laughs> we we usually go to the handshake, but, uh, you know, he was coming in for the chest bump, so we messed it up. I think it was this game where we messed it up, so you're going to have to watch that later in the game. As Perfect. Kevin throws that outlet pass to Tristan and – that was I was watching that on the bench, and that was funny because uh, when he looked down to make sure he, you know, had had care of the ball, I was like, "Is he going to try to do something like and a euro it's... step or something behind the back?" Because he was in the <laughs> open court, but he was nice and safe with it, which was good. As you guys are walking off of the floor, I just have one or two more questions for you. I know that this is a different look for you too. This quarantine beard. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> to give us well, insight on that, what's going on here? Uh, I mean, I had a couple big uh, playoff bids um, when we made those runs to the finals, and um, yeah, I was talking to Anna's brother about having a quarantine bid, and uh, what are we? We're about two weeks in, um, I think, on Thursday, so. It's it's getting it's getting on, so I don't know if I'll be able to keep it going, but if this uh, lasts much longer. All right, and then last question before we let you go. Thank you so much for hopping on with us and sharing so much of your time. A whole quarter, which, you know, is a little bit more than we asked, or you even said you were due, so thank you. But last question, since everyone is indoors, you said stay active. I know that you are really a big fan of avocado toast or anything with avocados. But what else is in your pantry during your time inside? What essentials does Matthew Delvedova have? Um, eggs. Um, <laughs> I've got 
Well, the first time I went to the store, <laughs> I think I went uh, Thursday night. I got a lot of beans and rice because okay. I was like, that's like, you know, famine, shortage <laughs> food, you know, that'll keep you going for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, but we, we've been having, um, you know, steak and veggies, mm-hmm. um, some some pasta with bolognese, um, yeah, some chicken tacos. That, that's a big favorite here, chicken tacos. Very nice. Well, for uh, for you, I know you miss your guys. For those that were tuned in, you leave them with anything. And if your teammates, I know you miss them. Anything you want to say? Uh, just say, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Angel. Sally, thank, thank you. you so much for your time. And, and stay safe, stay healthy. Your entire family, I know um, you're really enjoying this time with your son, Anders, and your wife. So thank you so much for joining us. And fans, thank you so much for uh following me and day so we'll catch you next time everybody see ya stay safe